Let's talk about art supplies today. I consider myself quite a minimalist regarding art supplies. I do have a lot of sketchbooks though and this is my biggest problem. But I'm trying to really limit the amount of paint and pencils I got and only stick to my favorite ones. From time to time I like to try new art techniques, but I always do a lot of research and try and choose some good quality art supplies that I will have fun using and that will stay with me for a long time. During these uh, last few weeks of uh, everyday painting and drawing, I decided to experiment some more with the tools I already had and try painting new things but i also bought some new uh, new art supplies like new colors uh, too and uh, also some color paints just to boost my creativity a little bit and uh, it's always nice to try out new art supplies uh, it gives this big boost of motivation and I actually instantly fell in love with new colors. So, so I try out some new stuff and experiment it, and here are the results. I used mostly mixed media techniques, and to be honest, I didn't really find my favorite sketchbook so far. I liked using Moleskine art collection, but it was not perfect. The texture was too grainy for pencils and it didn't always give me the best results. Other sketchbooks had either a weird paper that didn't hold the water properly and I just didn't like working with it or the paper was too thin or had a too heavy texture. At present I'm using this huge sketchbook from uh, Nerdforge. It's a really good one. I like the paper, it's, it's really smooth and uh, I can simply add details with pencils, but it's not perfect. The pages could be a little bit uh, thicker uh, so it would hold water um, better and I'm also not sure about the <laughs> 200 pages. Uh, I actually quite like uh, this uh, feeling of uh, accomplishment when I'm finish finishing a sketchbook and this guy will probably take forever to fill uh, and well I'm not sure I've just started it recently and uh, and it's a, it's a good one. Uh, I've also heard a lot of good reviews about uh, Stratform uh, sketchbooks for mixed media. Uh, and once this one is done and maybe a few others, <laughs> I'm gonna buy one and try out. For the last few years I was using for sketching mostly Prismacolor Call Erased uh, pencils. They are really great to work with, their colors are, are really nice and they are uh, soft and easy to sketch with. Uh, I like that they don't have this shine and they also don't smudge on the paper. I can also easily do a very light sketch with them that doesn't show through uh, the paint. I also usually sketch with purple, pink or green so even if I'm doing uh, more uh, rough drawing it goes pretty well with the colors that I'm putting later on on the illustration. They are unfortunately a little bit hard to erase and it's not possible to 
add uh, shading with uh, different uh, values on uh, different saturation like with the pencil we have uh, a b type pencil or 2b or 6b and we can go from gray to very dark black so with this pencil that's not really possible so they are not made for um, doing a fully finished drawing but uh, they are really perfect for sketching my favorite way to, uh, to painting is mixed media technique i like to put the first layer with either acrylic gouache or uh, watercolors and then uh, finish all the details with uh, colored pencils and recently I'm also using wax pastels. My absolute favorite paints now are uh, Holbein acrylic gouache. I prefer them over the regular gouache because they uh, do not uh, reactivate so when I put a layer on top of another layer I don't have uh, this smudging that's uh, happening with the regular uh, gouache. They also have such a beautiful well pigmented colors I really love all the pastels, pinks, purples, all the greens. They really fit into my new color palette and I have a lot of fun using them. first layers of uh, paint I like to add the details with colored pencils it helps me uh, work uh, a little bit faster and I like the result of mixed textures and my very favorite pencils are Caran d'Ache Luminance they are super smooth and very pigmented uh, super easy to blend uh, one color with another do lighting and adding darker shadows and uh, they are also uh, durable enough to add uh, very precise details i've actually tried a few different colored pencils during the last couple of years at the beginning i was working with prisma colors they were really great but once i tried the better quality pencils it turned out that uh, it could get better uh, i also worked with faber castell poly polychromos pencils and they are also really nice pencils with a very good pigmentation but they are also a little bit more hard doesn't leave this soft beautiful texture and don't blend that great as luminance colored pencils And my recent biggest discovery are wax pastels. Uh, I've been using some like cheap wax pastels back in school and I quite like them but I had no idea how to use them and just like was doing random paintings and sketches. But recently I heard about Caran Dash new colors and uh, these are type 2 which are soluble in water and it was basically the love from the first use 
They are super easy to pay, put on the paint layer, which uh, gives me a really pretty texture for details and um, they also create this beautiful surface of color and they are super easy to mix with each other. They are very pigmented and they are very easy to put lighter color on a darker one which I struggled a lot with only pencils and now I can add all the highlights and lighter details on bushes or trees or just add a lot of uh, depth into painting and since I'm also experimenting a lot with colors it allows me to put like this uh, bright pink on uh, more green areas uh, which with pencils they were just blending with each other and it didn't stand so much out so yeah neo colors are definitely my super favorite art supplies right now uh, i've also tried using them on their own uh, with water which turned out okay and it, they can definitely be used this way but i really prefer to use them with paint or at least pencils for sketching but there are also uh, some problems with them uh, they smudge a lot on the other page when used in the sketchbooks when I try to work on the next spread uh, they can transfer to the other page and I have to put tissue paper between each uh, finished spread so it won't ruin each other uh, they are also quite expensive, but I didn't go for a full set and just bought individually the colors I like, so that's okay. And unfortunately, because those are wax pastels and they are not really meant to be sharpened, and they are really, really hard to do tiny details and since they are based on a wax uh, you cannot put pencils on top of them because they are just not uh, holding to the paper uh, so it's getting a little bit challenging once i would like to add tiny details but other than that they are just perfect and i've been enjoying using them very very much that's it for this video thank you so much for watching uh, hope you enjoy it please let me know what are your favorite art supplies maybe i will try them out in the future these ones are definitely the ones that i'm using the most right now and really enjoying it i had a lot of struggles uh, switching from digital art and finding this joy from creating art with traditional techniques again thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe to my channel and uh, leave some likes and see you in the next video bye bye